It's Tuesday, March 14th, Happy Pi Day, and the battle of the unreleased smartphones rages on. For one, the mobile tech world awaits the official unveiling of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus later this month. Also, the Apple iPhone 8 10 Edition Pro, or whatever it will be, now has another speculative render for us to enjoy ahead of its expected September reveal. The folks over at BGR posted up pics of the new Samsung flagship phone a couple of weeks ago, so the S8 is pretty much a known quantity at this point. But it's being overshadowed by the 10th anniversary iPhone, whatever it'll end up being called, and now artist Arthur Race is taking his turn at iPhone 8 Digital Prognostication, which features some new looks at the all-screen design, but adds dual cameras, wireless charging, and a few other interesting bits. The video popped up on the Concept iPhone YouTube channel, which has a, well, spotty track record of getting predictions right, but hey, they have lots of great ideas about what might be in render form. Check out the video at the link, and keep in mind, we won't likely know what the new iPhone will actually look like until Tim Cook waves it at the crowd in September. The Galaxy S8 phones, on the other hand, will be revealed March 29th and should ship a few weeks later. Computer chip maker AMD continues to gather momentum as its new Ryzen series of CPUs get released. And we've got a full review of the new 1700 model, which is a step down from the 1800 in terms of price, but suffice to say it performed well in our rigorous torture tests. However, AMD has come up against some issues with their new chips when it comes to gaming performance, and they took to their blog yesterday to put the lid on some theories as to what's up. First of all, AMD said in no uncertain terms that the Windows 10 thread scheduler was not to blame for any slowdown in performance. Performance. Likewise, they also said a popular theory that the symmetrical multi-threading section of the chip was to blame was also inaccurate. So what's the problem? A lack of optimization, according to AMD. The company also said that as time goes on, that optimization will, of course, improve. In real-world terms, the problems are trifling, as our testing showed the 1800 and 1700 to be solid choices for PC builders, no matter what the computer is going to be used for. Check out our full review of the AMD Ryzen 1700 at the link. Remember last year when well-intentioned British scientists launched an online vote to name their new polar research ship? Yeah, bad idea. The winning name, Bodie McBoatface. Well, that name didn't pass muster with thine of the stiff upper lip, and the ship ended up honoring dinosaur enthusiast and nature film narrator extraordinaire Sir David Attenborough. But those Brits aren't entirely humorless, so the McBoatface moniker has actually landed on an actual watercraft. This one a very yellow robotic submarine that will indeed be aboard Sir David's properly named vessel, and this is no bathtub sub either. The newly christened Bodhi is about 10 feet long and can deep dive to about 15,000 feet below the waves. It then radios back if it found any underwater polar dinosaurs at and broken add to his park, or, you know, other more boring sciencey stuff. But there is also a cartoon version of Bodhi that scientists hope will get young Attenborough types interested in undersea exploration rather than resurrecting dinosaurs. Yeah, good luck with that. That's it for DT Daily Today. Be sure to check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel and watch our Close to the Metal podcast where we go in-depth with quantum computing. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.